Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol GUSH. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time, Frampton is a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. That question revolves around the fact that today the price made a very nice move and when you stop and think about the fact that at one point the price was all the way down there, now all of a sudden at the close the price is all the way back up there. Any rational person would say, yeah, that's been a very nice move on the bull's part. But that does lead to the question now of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make mapping out that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single area. And that area is down here at the $3 mark. Why is $3 important? Well, hopefully we can agree on the logic that price movements with genuine power, with true strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about $3. If the price were to pull back here, and then get to that level and keep on going, what would that be doing to the price? Well, from a very literal perspective, that would be putting the price right back to where it was when it was flirting with those lows. And again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Or as let's say the price pulls back here, behaves in this manner, and then starts to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this scenario? Well, you'd have a set of lows right there. You'd have those lows down there if you envision each one of those as stair steps. Well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upward direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do. It's gonna make progress forward. And in this situation, again, quote unquote progress being defined as $3. What about levels of resistance going into next week? Next key overall level. I'm gonna be right up there at, let's see, what is that point? $3.30, so $3.30, definitely within striking distance, assuming there's no gap downs or anything like that. So we'll see how it reacts with that, and if there's a higher volume break, then the next key overarching level up there around $3.50. So all in all though, anyway, look at it, very nice bounce today on the bulls part, not just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum going forward, we will see. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.